Welcome back, Blender Nation, Blender Family. Today, I'm going to get into detail on how to use the skin modifier. Well, primarily the skin modifiers with two more other modifiers to make a base mesh. One episode ahead, if you haven't watched it, it was using the skin modifier how to make a human hand. Today, my topic is making a base mesh. And you see right here, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, I have created a base mesh. In fact, I made several of them. Before I had the tutorial, I used the skin modifier to practice making a base mesh. So, let me delete this and we can start from the beginning with our base mesh. Delete this one. I'm going to start new. Now I have it on the modeling mode. I'm discovering how powerful those different uh, workspaces or reports are called in Blender 2.80. It's very helpful. Right here I have my basic um, screen set up. As you see, my base mesh was modeled after Spider-Man. Now I already have a prior video on how to get the uh, <coughs> the screen to be in front orthographic view, back orthographic view, and front orthographic view. So I'm just getting straight to the point, my good friends, and just have that set up so we can start with our mesh creation. Like always, what I like to do, I want to add a plane. You can add any type of mesh that you want. I just like to choose a plane. I want to rotate my plane. Rotate it. X, 90 degrees, so I can see it. It's locked in. Now, let's go up here, follow my mouse. I'm going to go to edit mode. Choose edit mode. Now, I want to make... I want to hit Alt M key again. Alt M. Alt and M. And I want to merge at the center. I'm sure you can go up here to the view, select, add, mesh, vertex, whatever to choose. Uh, merge at center. I'm so used to the hot keys because I've been on since been to 2.76. I'm used to the hot keys. I don't know all of them, but I know enough. Merge at center. Now, the first thing I like to do to help with my mesh, I like to put my merge point at the navel. So I'm going to hit G key, Z. I want to move it. You see my little point here? I'm going up and down. I like to move right to the navel of my characters. There. Now I'm going to extrude it. To make that thigh area, you see my little uh, orange dot. I'm extruded again to finish up my thigh. I guess right here is a good location. Now, when I do this, I like to add additional vertices. So I got this vertex, the center of my thigh, and I'm gonna click on this one that begin my thigh. Hit, hit my, I'm using the mouse, so on my mouse, I'm going to click on my right key, then I'm going to subdivide. I like to have at least a couple of vertices in there, so I can start manipulating my character the way I want to. Go back down to this, this um, the knee vertex, hit extrude, come all the way down to Spider-Man foot. That's a good location right there. I had that vertex selected, so I go back to his knee. Vertex. All right, I had that selected. I'm going to hit W again and subdivide. So I have more vertices to play with. Now, if you'd like to, which is optional, you can add in your skin modifier. Go down to skin, and you see... It looked like a rectangle. That's why I add those additional vertices. And I'm going to work on those vertices right now. I'm going to start at the foot. I like to turn my modifier off. 
go down to this foot I have it highlighted hit control a once more control a simultaneously control key I hit a then I would have wrote now this is the important part control key and a but you see my red line for the X I want to manipulate it on the X axis so I'm gonna hit it again control a X now you see I make it smaller and there is where his foot begin I want to go back and turn it off so I can find my other vertex easy but I, I, I'm sure I can find it but I just want to make it clean I click on this vertex right here control a and X manipulate it Scaling, see now so you see what happened when I add those additional vertices there I can make it look almost like a leg I did that let me clear now I want to add another vertice so I can have this fat part of his what you call it that ankle part or whatever you call it bicep tricep I'm gonna hit control all right I highlight that I'm gonna add another vertice there right click subdivide now I got additional vertices I'm gonna click on this center vertices right here click control a X direction and you see how much control I have now by adding those additional uh, vertices I want to turn it off so I can see where I'm going click in here I may add some more but I'm gonna see if I want to add some more but now this looks pretty good click control a stretch it out yeah that's too much too much that's too thin that look good right there click I don't need to add no more vertices to it turn it off now let's see what it look like you see like a thigh it looked like his leg I like to click up here on these um in the upper right corner on these arrow or these root manipulators that's what I'm gonna call them right here where the circle I click click so I get back to front rear I'm back to front rear I want to turn it off so I can find my vertices right here at his navel control a X that's important hit that X okay I'll leave it like this for now if I need to adjust it I'll come back I'm here come back now when I like to make his chest part I like to have it at least in thirds so I can manipulate it the way I want to I've seen on a lot of skin modifiers they take the they start the navel and you go all up to the neck and when you make it you can't manipulate it the way you want to so I like to go up to in thirds here I'm gonna hit extrude E E go up about a third click E again go up about a third oh hit Z to keep it straight go up about a third click E Z go up some more oh, well, I guess I'm putting it in fourths click E Z and I got the neck right there and I like to take my time click on the navel I'm gonna click on my second one that's going up towards his neck click on it come back over here turn it the skin modify back on and I'm gonna try to manipulate it. Control A X. Let's see what happened. I guess I make, make I'm gonna make this a little bit slender right in here. I got it. Turn this off. Coming back to my next one. Control A X. Let's see what happened. Okay, you see it's spreading out. I have a lot of control over it by having those additional vertices up there not one but about three or four of them that's the important part turn it off come to this next one 
Control A, X. And you see, I got his chest just by having those additional vertices. And you see, I'm taking my time. A lot of videos I've seen, they, they put the uh, skin modifier. I mean, they had the vertices, then they threw the skin modifier on. I discovered when I do that method, it looks a mess. I'm doing a part at a time. So I have control. Now, you should go up here to file and save, but I don't want to save it because I've already had a good version before this one. You can save it. Now, while we're in this view, I like to go. I had my most success when I went to the modeling view. Click on modeling. You see? I want to put it back to front view. Keep clicking till you get to the front view. It's in the front view. See, it looks larger. I have more control. Now, the reason my mesh is green, because one thing I'm starting to discover, and each workspace, each workspace is unique. It's separate from the others. It got its own special properties. Now, it does affect the work in all the other views, but the workspace itself is general, is uh, unique. So, to get that green mesh I went over here to shading now let's choose Metcap and you can choose whatever color you want for me when I was making I like green choose whatever you want so I'm in edit mode I'm gonna bring the screen out some I'm gonna turn it off find this mesh now I'm gonna go up and make his shoulders. I like to leave the head last because that gave me a little bit of trouble. I'm at it. I want to make the shoulder. E. There's the shoulder blade. And I'm gonna start making most of his arm. E. Oops. Sorry about that, poor people. I want to hit E. I hit E. Come down here to that joint. Then I like to do the subdivide. Here, then go back right to that shoulder. Right click, subdivide. I click right here at that first joint or at the wrist. No, that's well, that's not the wrist. I forgot what part of the body that's called. Anyway, right there, I hit E to extrude. I'm coming down to the hand. Right here. Now I'm going to go into the palms. For me, I like to add two more dots. A small dot to start the palm. And a small dot to go right in the middle. Now I'm not going to make the palm because I discovered with Blender 2.80 Beta. When it comes down to making small adjustments, it doesn't work right for some reason. So I'm going to leave the hands alone. I'll come back up here. Turn this on. I hit Control A and X. You see that that red X line? I want to do an X. Then I make my little adjustments to his shoulder. Can I make the adjustment? Okay, so see, it's making adjustments. Can I get? Okay, uh, dead. That's good enough. Now you see how ugly that arm look. If you would have made the mesh, if you would have made all your vertices like most, uh. Like most um, presenters do, it would have looked like a terrible mess. But you saw what I did for the leg. I work on one piece at a time, and then it started to look pretty decent. Let me turn off this the skin modifier. I came up here to this joint. Now I'm gonna come in here and to his his arm, or to the like I can say to his muscle, the the bicep. I want to move it down in the middle somewhere. I want to move it some right there. I turn the modifier back on. Control A and X. More, most important than X. And you see how it's starting to look. I can hit G to move it some more. Control A, X. Turn it off. Now I said the skin modifier is not perfect. It's not. 
It's more like an art form. I discovered it's like an art, so you're not gonna get everything, everything that you want with it. But it's just trying to give you a base mesh. That's all. Okay, I got right here at the wrist. That L, um, the section right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it another modifier. I mean, I'm sorry, a vertex. Right click. Subdivide. Click right here. Let me see what I can do. I already worked on that. So I'm going to come down to this other. Right here. Click on that dot. For the fatty part of that form. I'm going to try to manipulate that, that fatty part. Control A. X. Let's see how it look. I can't make no guarantees, my people. I'm going to make it a little bit fatter. I'm going to come back and work on it on. Turn off the modifier. I want to come down. Now I'm getting right to that wrist. Turn the modify back on. Control A. Hit your X. And you see, look how good it look. It looked like a wrist. You see that? Because I added those other subdivision. Like I said, to give me better control of what I'm doing. I'm going to get closer. Zoom in. I'm going to click on these two dots here for his, you know, his palm. Turn on the modify, turn on the, the skin modifier again. Control A, X. I can hit G to move it around. G to move it around. Control A and X again. Make my adjustments. Okay, that's a nice little size. I want to come back up here to the wrist and make that wider. Turn up the modifier. Click on that wrist part. Turn the modify back on. Hit your control A, X. And there, look. Look at it. See? It shaped out well. Let me zoom out. And look at that. His arm. Now, one thing I don't like. See, you got that hole right there. We got to try to fix the hole up. Let me see if I can fix that hole. That irritating hole. I'm clicking somewhere in the upper portion of his chest where his spider symbol at. Uh, and then, hold up. I don't have to hit Control A. I'm just going to hit the G key just to move that vertices around. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to hit the G key and just move it around. That's all I'm going to do. So, turn it back on. Hit G key to see if it closes. See, it's, it's slowly closing it. Yeah, good. It closed it. Good. Now, I'm going to work on his head. It took a lot of effort. The head part. I got the vertices. Let me see. Let me zoom in so I can see it some more. Zoom in. I click on this vertices right here at the top of his chest. I'm going to hit E to go up. Hit E and Z. Right there at the start of his chin. E, Z. I'm going to go up here to where I believe his nose at. E, Z. To the center of his eyes. E, Z. To the top of his forehead. Like I said, I have plenty of vertices in there. So I can make all my adjustments to him. To the web head. I'm going to turn my modifier back on. Well, I'm going to come down here and click on this modifier to the base of his chin. Turn that one back on. Control A X. Let's see what happened. Okay, see? It's starting to form his neck. I'm just gonna take my time and go up and see how it look. Where his nose begin. Control A X. Yeah. Go to the next vertices. Click on up. Turn it on. Control A X. You see, it's starting to form his head. You may don't gotta be perfect. It's just a base mesh. Go up again. I'm gonna. Go, I guess I should add some more. Click up here. Shift. Shift. 
I'm gonna add me another vertex. Subdivide. Alright, I'm gonna click this middle vertex. What would I just now create it? Control A. And I go up to the very top. Turn it back on. Control A X. Did I hit the X? Control A X. And there. Remember, it don't have to be perfect. Cause that's all I gotta do is scoot them over a little bit. So let me see how I look when I move it around. See, I had the base mesh. Well, I'll figure. I wonder what this little crack, this crook right here. How'd I get there? Let me see how I can get that little crook out his head. Like I said, it's like a science. It is a science. It's not an art. I mean, it's, I'm sorry. It's not a science. It's more like an art form. Let me go back to the front. I like looking at this front. Let me turn it back on. So A, X. I got that little crook thing right there. Let me see. Control A. Y. Let me see what happened now. Okay, I, that's what did it. I had to hit the Y. Oh. Control A, X. That's good enough for me. I'm happy with it. Now, if you wish, you can hit the mirror modifier. I'm gonna go up here and say add. It's sort of you know, it's Blender 2.8 beta. It's buggy. It's buggy. I'm sorry, people, but it's buggy. It's not 100% perfect. Been the 2.80 beta. So you see how many times I have to keep clicking to get to the screen. And there. Let's look at him. You see, we have our base mesh of Spider Man. Now I can get rid of this. I can I can make it smaller. Then if you want to, you can add the subdivision surface modifier. And there you go. Now I discovered something too. With this base mesh, you can use sculpting. But if you don't use sculpting, you can also just make fine tune adjustments, you know, to those uh to the mesh. And I'm gonna show you how what I mean. And then I can go into sculpting. Now I learned this this is important too. Now I hope it works. It's still 2.2.80 beta. When you activate your modifiers to make them permanent, it's best to go from top down. So I kept making a mistake of going from the bottom up and it was looking crazy looking. So let me try it again. I'm going to I'm a apply my meshes top down. Apply. Oh, have to be back in. I'm sorry. Object mode. Apply. Okay, so like it's working. I'm going to go to the next one. Apply. Now I apply them all. Now, let me go back to edit mode. I hope it works. So you have all that mesh right there. If you want to, my good people, before you even think about uh, we using a lot of energy for the sculpts, I'm gonna give an example. Say I want to uh have his chest protruding out some. I let him go up here and click certain parts of his. Let me put it on uh the face. Put it on face. I just can click certain parts of his chest. Click on certain part of his chest. I'm gonna do it again. Then I just can grab, hit grab key, and you see what's happening? It's extruding it. Then if I wanted to, I can put on a, I can put on um proportional editing and see how that helps it out. Make it smaller, of course. No, and you see, I can do that. I can do that to pull out his chest. Then I can do a little bit more at a time. 
That's when I pull these two parts out of his chest to extrude these two parts to make it look, you know, muscular. I got that in. I'm just going to extrude that a little bit. Or grab it. Grab it. I'm going to turn off a portion of editing. Turn that off. Grab. Then you can pull that out and make it look more, see, look more muscular. Then if I want to put his chest in some, I just come down here. Highlight my what I want to highlight. I could hit the C key so I can grab as much as possible. Hit C. Just flip it over. Grab. And just put it in a little bit. If you want to adjust his arm. And I say, I'm only doing this before I go to proportional editing. It's up to you. If I'm going to do certain parts of his arm. I'm just giving you an example. I'm not trying to be super technical. I'm just giving answers. I'm just giving some hints. Hit grab. And you see how I did that. And so I can make his arm look muscular if I wanted to. I can give a different, you know, you know, different definitions. Grab. Pull it out some. Then I can go down. Put it in some. You got me? So. I'm going to go to his leg. I'm going to give it one more example. And I'm going to conclude this video. I want to go down to his leg. Yeah. Certain parts of his legs. Okay, it's still acting up a little bit. It's 2.80 beta. I can just grab it. And see, let's put it out to make it look, look, look a little bit more chunky. I want to do one more. I'm going to grab this part right here. And just put, and just go in with it a little bit. And you see that? That's how you add more definition to them. So you, if you if you scared of if you scared of using it uh, the sculpting tool tool, you can stay away from it for now. You just give it a lot of geometry. Pull here, push there, and then you'll have a figure that's good to go. Now you definitely will need I mean probably need proportional editing for his head, but I'm not. I want to pull this chest out a little bit more, right, right up at this top, right here. I'm going to highlight these two, put it out a little bit more. Let's see how that look. Grab. I'll probably have to rotate it. You probably have to rotate some of this stuff. Wow. Or you can, or you can close it, but I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. You can use your um, proportional editing. Portion of editing, the grab key, and if you're real good at it, which I'm not right now, you can use the sculpt tube. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You saw I created a decent looking base mesh, which I can animate right now if I wanted to. I don't need to have him look like the, the polished Spider Man to animate him. I can animate this thing right now. Then, as I get better and better, I can start using um, the sculpt tool. Well, I wanted to make his feet, but I work. But anyway, you got the idea. I made the main thing, his body. You all can make the feet. I, I can't wait to version 2.8 of the fish will come out. So I can make his hands look decent. If you like what I went over, ladies and gentlemen, give me a thumbs up. The thing I enjoyed most is showing you all how to use the skin modifier in pieces. I did not make the whole figure where it would look crazy. And then start working on no. I took it in little chunks. The way I wrote papers when I was in college. Getting both my degrees. I did a, I did a couple papers. Five today. Five tomorrow. Then I turn around and I have 50 papers written. If I write five at a time. That's the way I dealt with the proportional editing. So like I said. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. With the skin modifier. Which it helped me out. In a couple months, I'll be an expert or real good at using that, uh, the sculpting tools. But as I said right now, I can make the foot and the hand. And I definitely want to make that body. I can start animating my figures right now thanks to the skin modifier. And you saw, compared to the old ways of doing it, box modeling, 
It really took me about 15 minutes, but since I'm talking, it probably took longer. 15 minutes to get a decent looking humanoid shape. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you want, but you don't have to because I mostly talk about the Bible on this channel. I just throw a couple of Blender videos in here and there. Give me your comments. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Peace.